I, the damn video cut off when I went to my sleeper. I accidentally bumped my the one button and the video cut off. So anyway, like I said, there was this all-American couple. You know, the girl I worked with at Burger King for like I worked with her for like a couple of years. Anyway, I'm not gonna say her name. I'll keep her identity concealed. She was half Filipino, half white. Uh, pretty cool girl, kind of tomboyish. I mean, she didn't. She wasn't like you know tomboyish as in uh, how do I say this? Uh, you get what I'm saying. She just liked. She was like a country girl. She liked a lot of four wheeling, and she owned a she owned a pickup truck, and, and you know she was like a, a manly girl. I mean, you know she was like she was pretty cool. Uh, she was my type of girl. Those are the kind of girls I like. But she was taken. I mean, I would have. Well, she's a little young. I was, I was 20. She was. She was about three years younger than me. So, whatever. But if whatever. But she she had a boyfriend of uh, like six years, and he was like a couple of years older than her. But he was pretty cool. He'd come up to work all the time, to my work anyway. He'd come up to the restaurant all the time and pick her up from work, and you know we met and. I see him every day, and the guy, he, he was a pretty cool guy. I mean, he was the kind of guy that, he was just a cool guy. You know, he's the kind of guy you could have drinks with at the bar. You know what I mean? And he was that kind of guy. And they were just an all-American couple. So anyway, um, yeah, I mean, I thought they are going to get married. I really did. I mean, so anyway, um, I left the job. I went to tr uh, truck driving school, got my CDL, and life went on. And that was it. So I was at the flea market and I ran into the guy. This guy, you know, the guy that was dating this girl that I worked with. And he was with the new girl. I'm like, holy shit. And I'm like, and, you know, I ran into him. I'm like, I'm not going to say his name, but I was like, dude, what's up? Oh, how you been, man? I'm like, how I'm like, uh, what happened with, uh, you know, what's her name? Oh, man. You can, I mean, he was, I mean, they were together like six fucking years. And he's like, and, and we ran into each other at the flea market, and he's, he told me the story about how she dumped him because she turned into a lesbian for a girlfriend. I mean, she was the kind of girl I didn't think that would, that would, would do that. I mean, they, this was the all-American couple. If you've seen this couple, I mean, you could say that's the all-American couple. She was the type of girl I didn't think would, was going to do something like that. But she did. I'm like, what the fuck? And it, it upset him a lot. I mean, the way he was talking to me, we, we, we met each other at the flea market or something. I just happened to run into him. And the way he was talking to me, he was really upset by it. He was very upset by it. And I... I I, I'm sorry for him, you know, but he's he's with a new woman now. He's married now, got a family. Fuck that bitch. So, I just don't... I, 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 it's got to be a plague. It's got to be something in the head. It's got to be a disease. How can... I mean... You can't be born with this shit. You can't. It, it just... You just can't. Yeah. I'm not going to say this person's name. I don't want to be hard, hurtful. I'll just put it in the title. I mean... There's another girl I knew in high school. I'm not going to say... I'm going to keep this person's name concealed because I don't want to start any shit I knew this girl for years I'm talking years I mean this this was the type of type of girl she could get any guy she wanted I mean she wasn't a slut but I'm say, saying that she was just a cool girl I mean she was you know and she had a great boyfriend and then I found out that she turned into a lesbian also I'm like what the fuck and now she's whatever this has got to be a mental illness. It has to be. It has to be. It has to be. You're not born this way. You're not. 
And if you think you're born this way, look at uh, that one YouTuber. Uh, what the hell's his name? God, Keemstar did a video on him on Drama Alert. Cabby something. Not happy Cabby. Uh, the fuck? He would always go on camera and rage a lot. He was a redhead, fat, tubby, fat slob, redhead, about 5'1". God, I can't think of his fucking name. He turned into a tranny. Um, fuck, what was his name? Name, I can't think of it. Something pumpkin, pumpkin, something weird, I don't know. He had, he had a redhead. God, if I can't think of his fucking name. Fuck. I don't know, I really can't. I, I did a video on it, like, a couple years ago. When I found out he was a tranny. He's very famous. He's got like 40 million fucking views on his channel. He, he did one video. He got like 40 million views on one video. That's what it was. Happy something. Not happy cabbie. That, not that fat slob. It was somebody else. Whatever, but you get what I'm saying. It's just... Ugh. I'm done.